This is the video review for Transformers Prime Robots in Disguise Revealer Class slash Deluxe Class Wheeljack. And he is a very nice, very stylized and unique car. I really like this mode, it's very striking. From the back, it's not perfect. And from the front, these gaps, they're necessary for transformation. But they also have to do with a vehicle mode gimmick. These gaps are pretty ugly, but unavoidable. He rolls pretty well, but the problem is that if you have his sword stored like this, they're soft plastic, so they will bend down a little bit. They do drag on the floor. I'm not so worried about it messing up the ability for this figure to roll. I'm more worried about it scraping off paint. So, I do not prefer to store the swords like that. There are two other ways you can store the swords. You can store them here, which is a somewhat strange gimmick. If you do this, you get the Tusk Mobile, which looks odd. Not bad, just odd. And then you can also store the swords here, which isn't the most threatening or useful way to store them, but it's a fairly safe way to store them. Let's put it that way. I'll take these off and we will transform Wheeljack. To begin, very simple. Pull the shoulders out. Pull the shoulders out. And then pull the legs down. And they'll kind of peg in just a little bit. It's not very strong, but it's good enough. Then you'll take the um, roof of the car, bend it down. And this little plate here, you will push it up. And that will fill in this gap right here for his chest and bring up his head. You want to make sure that these are aligned so that these little holes will f um, be in place for these tabs on the chest. Fold it down. And plug it into place. And this chest stays in very securely and it holds the waist piece in very nicely. So then rotate the arms down, split these back here, open up the arms like that, and then this is pretty interesting though, on this arm fairly easy but on the other arm fairly difficult. I pulled it out and I'm flipping it around and pressing it back in. And that's how you transform the arm, do the same on the other side. Pull it out. And then push it back in. Very simple. And now for the legs. The legs are very interesting. I like them a lot. What you'll do is you'll rotate this part of the foot down, push this up, and rotate it in. Push the foot flat, and rotate the foot forward. Very neat. I really like the way that works. So from the other side, Rotate it up like this, push this up, and rotate it to the side. That is a very neat transformation. I love how those legs work. And this is Wheeljack in robot mode. He is a very, very nice looking robot. His arms are a little bit too long, but they were like that in the show. So, I can't fault him for it. So in this mode, you can do several things with the swords. One, you can store them up here on his shoulders, which keeps them out of the way and on the robot so you don't lose them. And you can put them into his hands. You can put them in right side up. Sometimes a little bit difficult. Come on, go in. Right side up. upside down, or you can hold them like guns, 
Although that looks pretty silly. These pegs right here are mostly for storage. Now one thing that sucks about the swords is that because of this little peg right here on the swords for storage and because of this kibble on his arm right here, he can't really twist his arm that much in, even though he has quite a few joints in his hand. He, the hands are ball jointed and hinged. So there should be a lot of expressive power there, but I had to actually bend that part of the hilt out of the way to get him to hold it sideways. The safest way to get him to hold it sideways is take it out, turn the hand sideways, and then put the sword back in. So the swords, while they look nice, and because they're not soft plastic, will last a long time without getting bent in a strange way, aren't as nice as they should be. They don't work as well as they should. Now for posability, the arms are somewhat limited. They work, but I wish they had one more joint that they don't. First, they can rotate up and down like this just a little bit. Then you have a ball joint around here like this that allow it to go 360. And then you have kind of a pectoral motion here that's very limited because of this peg here. And then you have an elbow here and elbow here. So, he kind of has a bicep swivel, but not really. It doesn't really work like one because of how limited it is. So, his arms can do most of what you want them to do, but not everything. They could be better. The head is pretty nice. It can rotate from side to side, all the way around. It can look way up, and a little bit down. The legs are very nice. Forward, back, out, out, rotate above the knee, and he gets just a little under 90 at the leg. Not as much as I would like, but enough to assume some pretty cool poses. And the feet are ball jointed. Then go way down, a little bit up, and quite a ways to the side. So you're taking care of on the feet, and the knee's not as good as it should be, but it works. He has quite nice balance, too. There, he's a pugilist. <laughs> yeah, I really like this figure. He's very nice. I really recommend him, but there is one thing I want to warn you about. This is something that, when I saw it, was like, oh man, this figure's going to break, and... Well, no it won't, but the possibility is there, let's put it that way. Now if you look right there, that is a plug joint, which means that the arm is plugged through there. Now when I turn the arm, the plug isn't turning with the arm. And at first that really worried me because that meant that the arm is spinning around the pin, which means that the more the arm moves, the weaker the connection the arm has to over here is, and eventually it'll pop off the pin, which is very bad. But upon closer inspection, the arm is not spinning around the pin. The pin is spinning inside of the plug. You can't see it, but that's what it's doing. So if your arm ever gets loose and you need to tighten it, make sure you do not end up gluing the pin to the plug, because after that, the only way the arm will move is if it does spin around the pin, and it will break if you do that. So, just a word of warning, make sure you're very careful with that, shoulder, with that elbow joint, because there is a big possibility of it breaking if you do the wrong thing with it. Now the box, it should be fine, but, down the, but years later after the figure takes some wear, you might be tempted to try and fix it. Be very careful. Thank you for watching.